However celebrated they may be in life, many jazz musicians go underappreciated at their final resting place. This is Scott Joplin's grave site at St. Michael's Cemetery in Queens. This is the lonely stone for the great Yubi Blake at the Cypress Hills Cemetery not far away. And there's another pianist composer buried in the area, James P. Johnson, the giant of the Harlem Stride style. Johnson didn't ever get the glory that a lot of us wish he had. Since his death in 1955, James P. Johnson has been lying in an unmarked grave here at the Mount Olivet Cemetery, also in Queens. Officials at Mount Olivet didn't even know who James P. Johnson was, but they knew his plot and lot number, and a cemetery worker managed to locate the spot. But among his musical disciples, James P. is far from forgotten. They recently decided to raise money to buy him a headstone. They organized a fundraising event at Small's Jazz Club in Greenwich Village, featuring a number of renowned stride pianists. So in a way, we, we come to, down here tonight to uh, get that uh, get a campaign started to uh, raise a proper headstone for his grave and just to celebrate his uh, great achievements as a uh, pianist and as a great American composer. This was a throwback to the old rent parties that became a Harlem tradition in which a musician might raise rent money by having a jam session at his home for donations. Um, I'm so thankful for today because uh, my grandfather is finally receiving the dignity and respect that I believe that he deserves uh, for all of the contributions that he's made to American music, the jazz idiom, the jazz legacy. Um, I, I'm, I just could not be prouder. My heart is so filled. Uh, yesterday I went and visited his gravesite to take a look at where we're going to actually be placing his headstone and it, uh, back, it actually brought me to tears. It also touched Anthony Nunziato, who owns the florist next to Mount Olivet. After I told them about Johnson's grave, Anthony put together a little floral arrangement for James P., whose grave he felt needed to be recognized immediately. Anyone ever come in here to your knowledge uh, asking for a flower for this guy's grave? You ever no, no, not at all. No. He decided James P. Johnson needed a memorial immediately, and he began putting together a small bouquet of flowers to bring to the grave site. It's not right. You know, no one's life is worth recording, you know. Right. Uh, not to have anything, especially a history like that, is, is terrible. Everybody, no matter, every life is precious. So some, there definitely should be some kind of grave marker for everybody to tell that you had a whole lifespan. You should have a history of somebody so we could, the future generation could see where this person was and know where they are. I mean, you know, you, you live a whole life. You see what they did. They, were, they, gave a, they gave their input to the city. They made their mark. They should have a mark where people know where they're laid to rest. 